all right guys I'm gonna do a video uh, real quick on how I'm, uh, I do a potting soil mix this is my own little mix uh, you can do it a whole bunch of different ways but I've got what I've got here is uh, my own organic uh, compost that I made over the last year or so it's got all kinds of stuff like coffee grounds you can see this is actually composted coffee grounds and it smells just like dirt it's got a lot of worms in it too actually and uh, there's some other sticks and stuff that that I just throw out but uh, then what I do I add to this about um, I don't know three or four cups of organic fertilizer which is like a nine six four and it's this stuff down here in the bottom then I got uh, whatever I had left of those uh, worm castings and then uh, a handful of bone meal and that'll be the fertilizer for it and then I've got this uh, vermiculite and this is gonna help break up that uh, the compost because it's so compact it'll hold it'll retain a lot of water this will actually this will actually help drain uh, drain the soil and provide a little bit of aeration as well so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that okay, in and I'll get I'm back all right I uh, as you can see I removed all the sticks little twigs in there basically um, compost doesn't always break down everything on the first try you may get some some small twigs and things of that nature that don't break down I'm just going to throw that back in the compost pile and cover it back up. Just keep adding green stuff, grass clippings and stuff like that. And uh, the the carbon and, and the twigs that are still in there, that'll actually create a lot of balance and allow for more fungal growth in the in the compost pile and stuff like that. So, like I said, I just mix those. I just mix both of those in there. And uh, as I was going through it, just kind of remove the uh, remove the twigs, and that's what you get. I mean, this is high dollar stuff right here. All organic. If you guys are watching my channel for the first time you may not know but I'm 100% organic everything I do uh, aquaponics organic gardening uh, you know I do my own composting and just uh, even my lawn even both of my lawns my front and back lawn are totally organic they look like shit right now but I'm working on it you know they didn't really give me a whole heck of a lot to work with when I bought this house it was um, you know the, the basically they put down sod the year before and didn't nobody watered it and when it doesn't rain grass dies so I, I had to basically you know come back in here and and uh, plant more seed and just baby it and try and try and get it back into shape but uh, anyway um, but this is I mean if you can if you have space to do your own compost you can't beat this stuff I mean I threw in I went to Starbucks last winter last fall and was uh, uh, asking them for their coffee grounds and I'd come in every every day if I wanted to every other day or whatever whenever I got a chance to drive by there I pick up a you know 30 40 pound bag of coffee coffee uh, used coffee grounds and uh, throw that in there and I went in there to dig it up this spring and you know I put it in my hands and broke it up thinking that it was going to be still coffee and I went to smell it and it smelled like earth and there was you know probably a hundred worms in this little 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 coffee puck you know so it was already been broken down and you know you can't uh, you can't even buy stuff that good on the shelves even if it says it's you know worm castings the stuff you make at home is the best I guarantee it so um, anyway if you can if you can do it do it I mean it's like I said it's the best now now what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually um, I'm gonna be using these I just re uh, repotted my little uh, indoor plants and so I'm gonna hang these up going to hang these up inside the greenhouse and uh, put some uh, determinate tomatoes or I don't know what else I've just got so many tomatoes I figured what the hell what's one more I'm just going to take probably just going to take um, let's go over there and look let's see here so I've got a bunch of these. These are celebrity tomatoes, and they're pretty good size for planting. And then I've got these, which are tumbling tom tomatoes, and those would be good because um, they would just kind of fall over the edge of the, uh, you know, the pot, and, and uh, wouldn't really get too big where uh, wouldn't really get too big where it, you know they'd get in the way or block block out anything. So um, I think we'll do that. Just. Uh, Give me a minute, let me just go ahead and do that and I'll get okay. back to you. I decided to do the first two. I've got two more pots over there uh, with the celebrity tomatoes. And you'll notice I planted them well below the 
the edge of the pot. And the reason I did that is because I, when I filled them up, I made sure the roots were just about an inch above the hole in the bottom of the pot. So the roots are, you know, when they, when you read the, when you buy the plants at the big box store or whatever, and they say plant them deep, that's just exactly what I did. Because when you do that, uh, the, they shoot out more roots along the base of their stem. So that just, get, you know, gives the uh, gives it a better chance of uh, of surviving, you know, and, and and growing a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do as this grows up, I'll just put another two inch layer of soil on top of that, and uh, That'll be about it. All right, so when you do this, um, just put the soil in loosely. Don't really pack it down. And then, just kind of lightly water them at first. Let the soil settle a little bit. Come back and water them again. You kind of want the soil to settle evenly, but you know, you do the best you can. And uh, that's about it. You can pat them down a little bit, right around the stem gives them a little bit uh, but uh, yeah that's about it now I'm gonna do the other two and I'll uh, hang them up and show you the finished product product I'm also gonna do a uh, um, aquaponics update and I'll do an organic garden update as well just kind of show you that deal oh and I got a surprise the um, I did a little project in, inside uh, I, I called it the uh, aqua garden it's kind of just an interesting little project I did I, tried it out and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about my uh, experience with that all right product there get up on here and show you what they look like there's the celebrity tomatoes and those are the tumbling toms all right let's check on these fish my babies got about 80 80 fingerlings. They're probably about an inch long or so. Let's take a look at them. You can. All right, let's look at the big fish. 